Okay. And then you're the first kicker uh, taken off the board. That probably gives you a sense of pride, doesn't it? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm super blessed and super fortunate uh, for this opportunity. And um, sorry about that. You, you never know what you're going to get here in Alabama. Um, but no, I mean, yeah, I'm super blessed uh, for this opportunity. And, uh, you know, being the first kicker taken off the board means a lot to me. And, uh, you know, I'm just ready to, to get to Cincinnati and, you know, just uh, deal with the team and, you know, get to work. Yeah, Evan, can you just – can you walk us through what just happened right there? Oh, so a uh, – uh, just a big old jacked-up truck. Just – just pedal to the metal past our house, so. Evan, you were a pretty competitive kicker. You came in as a freshman and, and really made a name for yourself. Uh, what gives you the confidence to go out there and, and compete and succeed like you've done? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's just all the practice that I've really put in, uh, you know, throughout my whole you know, college career and uh, just feeling that, you know, I'm kind of I'm ready for, you know, the next step in my career for the NFL. And you know, I feel like I'm in a good spot uh, kicking wise. And I think I'm kicking the best I ever have right now. And um, you know, I feel really confident going into, uh, into OTAs and training camps. And, um, I mean, I'm just excited for this opportunity. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I feel really confident with what I'm doing right now. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations, Evan. Uh, can you kind of walk us through your pro day? Coach Simmons talked about your pro day. Yeah. I know every pro day is kind of different as far as access to coaches and stuff. I don't know if you were able to talk to him before. Yeah after and can you kind of talk about you know there were about three or four he said there were three or four you know yeah. teams coaches there so people yeah were no I mean pro day was super fun uh just because it was my first interaction with the coaches in person and I knew that day was it was pretty big just because you know that's the first time the coaches are going to see you kick in person and really the only time and so I know I, I mean I knew I needed to you know make a good impression and so um, I mean, that day was super fun. I, I kicked really well. Um, and just getting to talk to uh, Coach Darren and you know, all the other special team coaches, it was just a lot of fun. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I was super happy with how I performed that day. There are only 32 of the jobs uh, that you're shooting <laughs> for in the world. It's a pretty exclusive club. Yeah. And uh, you'll go to training camp, at least as the, you know, the leading candidate to be the Bengals uh, kicker this mm -hmm. year. Can you just talk about the accomplishment of putting yourself in position to have one of those 32 jobs? Yeah, no, I mean, I think it, um, I mean, you know, words can describe how I feel about it. Um, you know, I'm, this has been a goal of mine, a dream of mine since, you know, I started kicking and, uh, now that's here, uh, I'm super excited. It's super fired up and, you know, I'm, I probably won't stop training until I get that, that starting spot. Um, and I know there's only 32 spots in the, or 32 jobs in the world for what I want to do. And, you know, I want to, that's been a goal of mine, you know, to be one of the 32 and to have that opportunity to compete for it. Uh, you know, I don't think anything uh, can stop me from, from getting it for sure. Evan, I, I think you put up some ridiculous numbers in terms of kicking field goals, percentage, distance, and all that. What about kicking off? Uh, kicking off is an art form now, you know, mm -hmm. with the way it is in the National Football League, the hang time and different distances and all that goes yeah. with it. Is, is kicking off a big deal in your repertoire? Yeah, no, I think uh, that's uh, what a lot of the teams wanted to see from me. Um, not just, you know, my leg strength on field goal or accuracy on field goal, but it was you know, what could I bring to the table with kickoffs too? You know, can I hit a touchback whenever I need to? And I think uh, the adjustments I made from the end of the season to now um, have really helped me, you know, show the teams that, uh, you know, I can hit a touchback whenever we need it. And uh, I think that was big for me on pro to just show them that. I have, an, I have a favorite kicker. Uh, I'm sorry, Jim. Do, <laughs> Do what? You have a favorite kicker? Do I have a favorite kicker? Um, I mean, I watch a lot of guys in the NFL, um, just for multiple different reasons. But I think a lot of people's favorite kickers is like Justin Tucker or, uh, you know, maybe Harrison Bucker or somebody like that. But Justin Tucker is definitely somebody I feel like everyone looks up to, um, in the kicking world at least. 
I think a lot of Bengals fans are seeing that the bottle kick where you, you kick the ball <laughs> and the, the, the cap yeah. screwed there. Where did you get that idea and how many attempts did it take to pull it off? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, the, the bottle cap challenge was going around at, at that time and I knew snappers were doing it. Some kickers were doing it. And, you know, I just wanted to do something to kind of top all of it and to get people's attention, I guess. And, uh, I guess that's where the inspiration came from. Uh, it probably took me around like 30 or 40 tries. Um, but I mean, like as a kicker, oh, sorry, I was going to call, but as a kicker, um, you know, we're trained to aim small, miss small anyway. So, uh, you know, I, I knew it was just a matter of time until it happened, really. A couple more questions. Coach, Coach Simmons was talking about your, your big leg, but he also really liked the, the clutch nature of you as a kicker. Did, did you have any kicks at Florida where the, the game was on the line, game winners late in the game? And is there a kick that you're, you're proudest of or a favorite? Yeah, I think um, – some of the biggest kicks I had um, at Florida, they kind of came, I guess, like, you know, in the later minutes of the game, no really, like, walk-off kicks. Um, either that or at halftime to go up, uh, you know, carry the momentum into the second half. Um, but, you know, I didn't really have, I'd say, like a, a last-second, uh, you know, walk-off field goal. But I had a couple, you know, in the last couple of minutes to go up 10 or to go up 8, something like that. Um, so, but, yeah, I mean, no, no walk-off kick kick or field goals so I mean, i'm excited about my first one uh whenever that's going to be last question what's the lousiest weather you've kicked in because that will definitely be something <laughs> that uh, you're going to face in cincinnati yeah and i knew that's something that was being talked about uh because i'm from alabama originally and it, it kind of gets cold here kind of october uh december and i've played football um you know in those months but, you know, I, I mean, I train on my own. I've kicked in January in Alabama where it's, you know, 35, 40 degrees. And I know probably in Cincinnati it's, it's a little colder than that. Um, but, no, I, I don't think, um, you know, the, the cold weather really affect, affect me that much. I'm sure I'll be, be able to adapt to it, um, you know, kind of just like anything else. Um, but I, I will say I was probably spoiled down there in Florida. Um, having like 70 degree weather year round. <laughs> so, but no, I'm excited to, to get up to Cincinnati and, um, you know, just get things going.